Um, it's actually pretty amazing. I think through media coverage alone, we already have gone global. So of course, we receive press uh, in print media from coast to coast across Canada, radio as well, and we're now even getting media internationally. We just did a, a radio interview with Deutsche Welle, that's Germany's international broadcaster, uh, a week ago. So the concept is spreading, right? And I think it speaks to just the simplicity of the idea. And it is universal in a sense. It's universal because um, those tobacco uh, warning labels, right? So Canada actually was the first country in the world to come up with the pictorial, the visual ones, uh, uh, warning labels. It was in around the year 2001. Um, and they then went global. There's now something like 50 countries on the planet that have these, right? Uh, so I think to myself, those are 50 markets where their citizens are almost cognitively primed to understand this idea and advocate for it. Proof of that actually is, uh, so when I first came out with the idea, it was uh, a few months ago and I started tweeting it out under the climate change hashtag, right? Uh, people from all over the world, from Brazil, from Australia, from all these countries where they have those cigarette warning labels, they were tweeting back at me with, whoa, what is this? This is so cool. Um, what can I do? How can we get this done here? Because I was tweeting an image of, of the gas pump nozzle with the warning label, and they were like, that's exactly like the tobacco labels that we have here, you know? Um, I noticed actually in that moment, uh, and so we got all that response uh, on Twitter, I then went to our Google Analytics that lets me look at um, web traffic on our website. So all of our traffic, most of our traffic anyway, was from Canada. Canada was showing up as dark green. But we had light green all over the world, right? So people were visiting our website. And I realized, you know, when, when people in, in Australia and New Zealand were tweeting at me saying, what can I do? I was sort of like, I don't know, this is a Canadian campaign? You know, I, you know, I don't know. And with my friends, we're always using the language, this is globally unprecedented, right? Um, but I had this moment where I actually genuinely realized this is globally unprecedented, right? And so I thought, you know what? We need to make this go global. We need to facilitate to have that happen, right? Um, so the game plan is step one, get communities in Canada to pass this bylaw. That creates a global precedent. In itself, that will attract international media attention. Step two, we're going to facilitate that going global. So you know the, um, the database that I mentioned with every single municipal councillor's email address in all of Canada? We started this. We actually already have the beginnings of a database that have been produced by volunteers. Um, and if you're a volunteer and want to help out in this project, um, you can, right? The idea is uh, we are getting the email address of every single elected official on the planet so that a few months from now, after we're done this Cross Canada tour, uh, we, if you go to our website, it won't ask you uh, what province are you in, what municipality are you in, it'll ask you what country are you in. And if you're that person in Brazil that saw this idea, that's worried about climate change, that understands the potential of this thing and wants to advocate for it, you go drop down box Brazil, click, maybe a couple of other clicks, uh, fill in your name and email, and you just fire off a letter in Portuguese. So we are going to facilitate this going global. Um, and I want to see it on gas pumps all over the world in short order. And I think it will play an important role in having humanity quite literally face the reality of what we're up against. Having then done that, we will be that much more willing and able to act on real meaningful solutions for climate change.